So now let's take a look at the customer booking process for a bike rental order. This is the page that the customer will see. As you can see, Raintrack set the start date and the start time till the current day and the current time. Let's say I would like to book a bike earlier this afternoon, then return it later today before dinner. So now we can go to the finish time and select the time that would uh, be preferable to us. Then let's see, as let's say I want to return at 545. Then as you can see, we can take a look at the rent items. Let's, let's click on that. As you can see, the picture of the order that you want to rent and the details of specifications are shown. So let's say I just want to book a simple e-bike. Let's click the add button. We just want one bike. As you can see, the unit price is shown here. Now let's take a look at the bar items. Let's click on the accessories. Let's say I want to rent a lock to, in case I want to park my bike. It doesn't get stolen. Let's click on that and add that to our order. Then let's look at the sell items. Let's say I want some snacks just in case I get hungry as I'm riding the bike. Let's click on that. We can add a sandwich. Click on add. We can look at the product. Let's say we want the turkey sandwich. So the quantity is one, the price gets automatically calculated. As you can see, the subtotal is shown there. Ring tracks automatically calculates the tax rate and add it to the grand total. So now let's click checkout for our order. It will take the customer to this page. This is where the customer enters his or her information. It's just like online shopping. So let's go ahead and enter the email address. Number. As you can see, if the customer has booked the uh, order before, the customer does not have to enter his information for all the boxes again. Raintrax automatically stores the customer's information so the customer doesn't have to go through entering his personal information every single time. So item drop-off and pickups, uh, we're assuming this is more of a retail store setting. So it, we, don't have to, we don't need to deliver the item. Let's just say we do store pickup now let's customer need to sign a waiver as you can see the customer information is already stored in the system we just need to click on the screen button here it's simple clicks clicks now the waiver is signed now payment information let's let's fill that in customer text car number So now, once all the payment is ent payment method is entered, we can check the we can check the subtotal and the tax rate and the grand total one more time before we pay the full amount. Let's click on pay full amount. Take a few seconds. As you can see, now the customer has booked this order. Now this is a page that the store owner will see. This is the back end page. As you can see, there's an open booking, which is created just now. So now let's we can click on the order number here. They will bring us to this page where all the detailed information will also be available for the store owner. As you can see, this is the booking period, the booking order. We can go down. There's customer information and the customer details. As you can see, the order detail is shown there. E-bike, lock. We want a sandwich. So the grand total is also here. So now let's go ahead and so let's let's go back to the orders first. So now let's say we want to deliver this order to the customer. So the customer walks into the store, we give him the bike. Let's click on deliver. It's just another confirmation. Let's click on deliver. So now as you can see the customer's bike is delivered. Now we can go to the delivered button here. As you can see, we can click on the order number. The same information as you've seen before, it was shown here. Now, the bike is, bike is delivered. The customer rides the bike and he returns the item just in time. Let's go back to the orders. So now let's click on this return button here. So yes, e-bike, return, we click on that, we click on the lock, the sandwich, it's a sale item, it, 
so we don't have to return that. So let's just say the bike needs some service. I don't know if maybe it has a broken pedal. And record that. Let's click on the return. And let's go back to the orders. Let's click on the return. As you can see, the now the order is closed since it's already returned.